Hello everyone and welcome back. So we are currently on the tent lake and we are going to uh, have a camp out. I was going to stay at the tent but I decided, you know what, I wanted to camp out on one of the points and we should do that. So here we are, <laughs> ready to do it. Um, you might see a lot of mosquitoes flying around. They are really hungry this year. We've had a wet spring, summer and uh, they are so hungry. <laughs> So I put on the bug spray. That doesn't seem to stop them at all. So I have my bug net and when I get unpacked, I do have a thermosel hiding somewhere. And uh, I cannot wait to find it because they are wild. But let's head across the lake and get to that camp spot. That one. If you look all the way across, you might be able to see the tent. Okay, this is our beautiful campsite. We have a nice spot right over here for our tent. And over here there's a grate and a fire pit, which will come in really handy. It did rain last night and even this morning when I was driving here it was raining and you guys know one thing that I have to have is a fire so I did bring the tiger torch and the chainsaw and luckily we have plenty of dead wood hanging out there is also a couple widow makers hanging out up here so I'm gonna try to do something with that but it's a beautiful spot and hopefully no more rain but I can see in the distance over there it looks kind of rain like so I'm gonna pop up my tent quick and try to get some of the stuff inside before it uh, before we get drenched if that is rain Okay, so you guys know we don't do you know paid sponsorships or anything like that, but on the rare occasion a company will send us something for free and we get to use it. They sent us this for free, this bougie RV or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've, I've had this for a few months. Kind of wanted to make a video about it because I thought it was cool. I see these on Amazon all the time. Um, what I like most about this is the digital readout. So I had that battery uh, contraption with the inverter that we went that I used on the last camping trip and it was nice but you have no way of knowing how charged that battery is so I brought this today because tonight I want to run some lights so I got this LED rope light which is I don't even know I think it's a 50 footer but let's see how much power it draws because it'll tell us um, 
gotta hold this button down. The inverter kicks on. Uh, so if I plug in this light, it says output of eight to 10 watts. Now it's staying at 10. So 10 watts for one of these like 50 foot rope lights, which is pretty amazing. And then I brought some Christmas lights because, well, why wouldn't we try Christmas lights? I don't know how long this is, probably a 25 foot strand. Not nearly as bright. And it doesn't draw a single watt. <laughs> so you could have a lot of Christmas lights, I guess. Um, I was gonna bring, like, we have some fancy ones that you'd put on a deck where they're actual bulbs. I was gonna bring those because they put out a lot of light, but when I plugged those in, it drew like 70 or 80 watts and I thought ah, that's kind of a lot so anyways you might see this it's not we're not getting paid anything for it these are actually very expensive that's the only drawback that I see from these is just like they're hundreds of dollars and I don't know why they're so expensive but we got it for free so maybe I can show you guys a little bit about it but it works really good to charge phones and stuff like that and that's really what I've been using for, using it for but uh, yeah if you see this lying around that's what that is but I mainly wanted it to uh, use the lights and charge camera batteries and stuff because it has nice portable handles on it. But anyways, uh, let's get back to putting stuff in the tent. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you that because I'm about to use an air mattress with it and I didn't want you guys to ask, what is that? So let's get back to the tent here and uh, work on getting that air mattress in there so I can put all the clothes and stuff in there. All right, it is 11.30, and we are gonna get some food going here. It's lightly drizzling, but I hope that it passes soon. All the wood is wet, but we got a solution for that. Last time we were out, I really wished that I had a table and we have a few of these six foot folders. So I threw it in. <laughs> Why not, right? It gives us a spot to uh, to prep food or set stuff up off the ground. But for lunch today, this is a dinner. We're having steak, corn, and mushroom. Uh, but for lunch, we have a a little bit of uh, Sam's homemade tuna pasta salad, which is delicious, and a burger, a beef burger. And then for dinner, I'm having a little steak and some mushrooms and corn. But I'm hungry. It's about noon, so let's uh, let's get one of these burgers cooking, huh? Now it's drizzling super light out there. All right, it started raining pretty good. <laughs> so I'm gonna put you away for a minute while this rain passes. Okay, the rainstorm passed, and hopefully that's the only rainstorm of the day. My jacket got pretty wet. I was running around trying to finish cooking my lunch, and uh, then I ate lunch in the tent, so 
Now, while we have a break in the weather, let's go fishing and see if there's anything biting. It might be good because of the storm. Can you see the tent at the other side right in there? Here's our cup holder in action. Pretty good. And then we got our Garmin on here. It's all wet, but I think that's fine. Turn it on. You can see we have all of our options and it'll, it, it has many different options on here. Waypoint, traditional. Um, I normally do waypoint. Can I do them both here? Yeah, so I normally sp split screen it, waypoint and split screen it traditional. Transducer's not in the water right now though, so. Um, but yeah, I do like that waypoint because it gives me miles per hour. All right, let's push off here and get a This was a, this one feels good. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's pulling my drag. It is a good one. Come on, come on, come on. Wow. Oh, oh, it's a monster. It's a monster. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here, you. Oh my gosh. It's a monster. Oh, holy crap. Come on. Oh my God. Do you see that? Do you see that thing? Oh, don't get up. My net's not even big enough for you. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Hold it up. Oh my gosh! We got it in! Oh, just laugh. Look at that thing. Oh, it's huge. It's so huge. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. It's huge. Holy buckets. That's why we fish for northerns in this lake. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing, it's so... Oh, I gotta take a minute to breathe here. Look at that thing. Hang on. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. Okay, we gotta probably get it weighed. Maybe a length. Look at that. Oh, what a monster. Okay. Hang on, I gotta stay on this. Ouch, you got me good, you little bastard. Pounds. Okay. Oh, oh geez. Nine pounds. Okay. Sorry for the situation here, folks. This fish is just having a heyday. Nine pounds. Oh my. Oh my gosh, that fish was huge. I've caught three or four, this would be either my third or my fourth of that size. Um, I know two of them were 10 pounds and uh, it's just, you see them come up and it's like an unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable size, it's, it's scary. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right. That was intense.
On the northern, this one's a little more manageable. <laughs> Ooh, just barely had it. There we go. Okay, we are going to head over to the tent because dad said that grandpa's uh, wood splitter isn't running and I'm going to take a peek at it to see if uh, I can get it running. I brought just a couple of tools and we'll see if we can get it running. <laughs> We actually had to walk way over here to Grandpa's place, but I moved this cover and there's just mosquitoes everywhere. Look at them all. Okay. Well, Dad said that he, uh, Dad said that he's coming up next week and I'll have to join him because I'm going to have to bring a bug, bug fogger or something. This is, look at all these skeeters. Look at this. Oh, it's like surround sound. We got to get out of here. All right, yeah, the uh, the mosquitoes are terrible. <laughs> wow, they're all hanging out underneath that cover. Yikes! All right, let's let's get out of here. All right, we got the fire going good. I got a little stack of wood here, and I actually walked this trail back here it turns to the left and if you keep following it it uh there's like another little campsite back there and then it continues to go on some more but this tree had fallen down in the way probably a long time ago <laughs> uh, it's pretty well rotten but i noticed that on this tree and that tree people had been like cutting off sticks and stuff so i thought well i'm just gonna chop this thing up and get it stacked because I can burn it or you know other people can come and burn it and that's what these campsites actually need a lot of them are just in disrepair because people don't come out here or if they do they probably have like a bow saw and you can only get sticks and stuff with a bow saw so we hacked away at that cleaning it up real nice well at least we got that one uh, widow maker out too bad this one can't go down but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw our corn on here we got corn baby Bella's and a steak marked camp dinner <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get that kind of going but I need to wash those Bella's so I guess I'm just gonna have to wash them in the lake and uh, we'll fry them up in a cast iron pan but let's get started with that Okay, so I bought these from a little little tiny town on the way in here. And the first one felt really slimy, like more slimy than they should. And then you see the white, you see the mold. So uh, mushrooms are mold, but that's a different Oh, that's a different type. I'm not eating these. I don't I don't feel like getting sick and I don't know if that's Good or bad, but that one also looks real slimy and gross so we're going to uh, We're gonna count that as do not eat and move on <laughs> Yikes Gross Okay, so I always cook corn on the grill, and it's literally that easy. <laughs> Some people say soak it. 
I just set it on there. It cooks itself. Probably take a half hour or more, but that's okay. We got time. forgot I still had some of my wife's delicious tuna tuna pasta salad which makes this meal complete So a lot of times you'll hear dad say the lake is either on or the lake is off. And right now is a perfect example. The lake is off. There is no action happening. <laughs> I just surfed that whole uh, bay back there and didn't get it. Uh, I got one, what I thought was a hit. It could have been a weed, I don't know. So now we're over here trying this bay. And this bay here, actually that group of pines that are real tall, this is where I got one of my biggest basses I've ever had. And it's on video. I, it's either a tent video or else it's like called a Minnesota bass or something like that. But I thought I hooked into a log, but it just turned out to be a huge bass. And yeah, the bass are in here, but they're kind of few and far between, but we're gonna try for we're gonna try for it in this bay here and just see if we have any luck. Oh, yep, got it. Yes. Oh, it's a good fight. But it doesn't feel like a northern though. Oh, it's really fighting. I'll move you guys a little bit. Oh, it's really fighting. Ooh, it's taking my drag. This might be a bass. Just because it's really fighting me hard. Oh, it's going to come up here. Well, it's going under the boat. Yep, it is a big old bass. Look at that thing. Oh, yes. Look at that thing. What a beaut. Wow, look at that thing. Beautiful fish, look at this. I told you, this is like the little bass bay. Beautiful bass. Should we weigh it? I don't think it's maybe three pounds or something, but let me flip out the screen so I can make sure you guys can see.
Oh, and these are a little easier to deal with, eh? <laughs> Alright, let's take a gander at the weight. Point six. A little bit easier to, a little bit easier to deal with this. Awesome. This is like the little bass spot. I don't know why, but I. This is the only bay that I've ever caught a bass on. Awesome. Well, maybe we'll get another one. these little group of lily pads here. I know you're in there. Oh, yep, there it is. We're hooked. Yeah, we got whatever it is. Oh boy, it might be another bass because it just, it's giving me a good fight. Oh. Come on. What are you? Oh, come on. Whoa, way under the boat. Whoa. Oh, it's in my fish finder. Oh, no. Oh, I'll never know what it was. Shoot. Okay. You can keep your secrets. All right, we are going to go up the, up this waterway. I don't know if we'll make it very far, but we're going to try. There's a lot of weeds up here. I wanted to go more down there, but I see there's a big lily pad island, and on one occasion I got stuck on a right up here, actually back in this bay, I got stuck in a on a lily pad bog like that, and that is really hard to get yourself off. So we're gonna head back up to uh, the bay up here, and then we'll fish further back and see. I'm just kind of trying areas that haven't really been tried in a while. Yeah. Just relaxing. Well, everyone, it's about 9:40, and it's a little bit early for me. But the mosquitoes came out, and they are hungry. <laughs> so I did, however, want to plug in this light thing so you guys can see it. That's actually pretty cool. 
anything is possible, but technically an island. We are. There's water on probably about 90% of the sides. And then like a cattail bog thing on the back side of this. Partially why I chose this spot is because I wouldn't have to worry so much about, you know, big game. But anything is possible, so I'm going to just set the cooler way over here. So if something comes by, I'll have it so I can plug in that uh, cord inside of the tent and light it up. But I do think I'm going to go and get some rest because I have had a long day and I am tired. Okay everyone, I got my pajamas on and I am going to lay down here and relax. It's just so many mosquitoes out there. It's unbelievable. The thermocell does really well with um, keeping them at bay for the most part. But uh, I wanted to make sure I had some thermocell left for in the tent here because I'm going to run it for a while. That way they're not tempted to make their way in here. My finger got chewed up pretty good today from that uh, northern. When I tried to weigh it the first time, it's the fish snapped off. I'll have to put it in slow motion. It must have caught my hand, but um, the, it was bleeding real bad from the inside, like the palm side, for a while, but that stopped. And now, for whatever reason, when I put on my pajamas, the cuts on the cuticle side <laughs> opened up, so I'm using a bit of tissue here to uh, stop the bleeding. Morning, everyone. Currently about 7:30. I've been up on and off since like five because it got so light out in here. But uh, slept pretty good. No, you know, big noises or anything like that, which is good. So. I gotta get that fire going so I can get breakfast going because I'm getting hungry and this lens keeps fogging up. So oh, let's get dressed and get out of here.
нормально. We got our sausages and we got our bread. Just the way I like it. We got camp taken down and now we're gonna buzz across the lake, get this all put into the van, and then we'll buzz back and see if grandpa's here. While we wait here, let's try some fishing. These deer sheds were back behind the pine trees at the new house and I don't really have a use for them but I'm sure grandpa can find a use so I brought him up here. I don't think he's here yet but I have a feeling once I get over there he'll show up. <laughs> well we dropped off the uh, antlers and that little piece of wood. And I don't know if, what time Grandpa's supposed to be up today, but I think we're going to head on home. I'll see him in the next few weeks, I'm sure.
everyone thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed there'll be more videos like this to come